And nowadays, this is the weapon of choice for most revolutionaries and discontents, such as myself. It's called a Molotov cocktail. But it wasn't invented by a Russian revolutionary. It was invented by a Syrian called Kalinicus in 672 AD. Kalinicus was both a chemist and an engineer. He had been developing a secret mixture of flammable materials, which included sulfur, petroleum, pitch and pine resin. When he carefully mixed them together, they made a gooey liquid, which you could even set fire to on water. Kalinicus had invented a flame that was nearly impossible to extinguish. Put it into a breakable container and, hey presto, the first hand grenade. Kalinicus had the concept and the technology. All he needed now was the political will to put his invention into practice. And here at Constantinople lay the opportunity he was looking for. At that time, the Muslim Caliph of Damascus was laying siege to the Emperor of Byzantium, Constantine IV. So Callinicus went to the Caliph, who was after all a fellow Syrian, and offered him his new firebomb invention. But the Caliph wasn't interested. He was doing well enough without any newfangled weapons of war, thank you very much. Callinicus, however, was undaunted. Like any good arms dealer, he simply took his business to the other side. He courageously brought his invention right here into the enemy's stronghold. The Emperor, Constantine IV, recognized a good thing when he saw it, and Callinicus got his deal. So when the Caliph launched his fleet, this is what they sailed into. The mouths of savage monsters that seemed to vomit a stream of consuming fire, as one historian put it. What they had actually encountered was the world's first flamethrower. We don't know how the Emperor's engineers were able to throw Kalinicus's liquid fire, but they must have had some kind of double-action pump mounted in the boats, so a steady stream of liquid could be forced through a leather hose. Add a bronze nozzle fixed to the prow, a pilot light, and hey presto, a jet of flame that could be aimed at the enemy. By the time the Caliph realized his mistake in turning Kalinicus away, he'd lost 30,000 men. What could have been Syrian fire became known forever 